Fight fans, Micah Frankel for Nux.com and Cage Minds. We're back and we're Skyping on the phone with Roger the Hulk Hollett, who will be competing at UFC 152 against Matt Hamill. You've been on the card, off the card, and back on the card again. How happy are you to just be fighting at this point? Yeah, I'm really happy. I'm glad uh, things worked out. It wasn't looking to be good for a while there, but uh, my luck finally changed. The luck has definitely finally changed. Were you able to stay optimistic throughout that whole time period when you were taken off of the card? Uh, try to, but it's hard, you know. You, you just got to... You just made the big show, and then suddenly you're not. I mean, it was a, a tough thing to overcome, but uh, it worked out. From a training perspective, what happened after you were pulled from the car? Did you continue as if you had a fight, or what was that like? Yeah, I mean, I took advantage of the good training here, so I uh, figured I'd stay. All the boys were still inside their fights on, so I stayed to help out as best I could, and, and it worked out. Good thing I did stay training. You, <laughs> if you had mastered, I would have said yes anyway, right? No matter what kind of shape I was in, I would have been much better than you look like. So it all worked out. So from say you know 100% is how you feel going into a fight when you have a full training camp. How close are you to that? Oh well, I've been training the whole time, so I'm looking great on schedule anyway. <clears throat> okay, and so for those that don't know, there was just a rumor that you were injured, and then there was uh, you were pulled from the card without a reason. Could you sign, sh shine some light? Uh, what happened when you got pulled from the 152 card in the first place? Yeah, I have no idea where this thing was started. I was never, ever injured whatsoever. Uh, I can, couldn't even tell you where that started, um, but it's totally not true. It was totally fine. It was a contract dispute with uh, Bellator. Um, we were waiting on a release letter from them. Uh, it didn't come through on time. So they uh, obviously they had to find uh, Vladimir a fight. I mean, uh, channel a fight. They got Vladimir and then... Uh, Vladimir got hurt, and I luckily got the call back. So, when you got that call back, was it a sense of relief, or what was the emotions like when you got the call to get put back on? Oh, man, I couldn't have been happier. I was, like, uh, I was two days away from going home, because uh, everybody uh, was finishing up training this week, and uh, I was getting ready to pack it and go home and <laughs> figure out what I'm going to do next. Okay. Well, from that contract dispute, we had talked the other day kind of about this, and it seemed like there was some spitefulness kind of coming from the Bellator side to you with this. Did you feel that? I don't know if it was spite, more like it goes back to I ended up having a, a bad EKG reading. I had a, like, any athlete who trains, you know, really hard, like, Every fighter probably has it. It's called an athlete card. It's an extra layer of muscle around your heart. <laughs> so they had, I had to go get an extra cardiogram. But in, uh, it, I had a two month waiting list because you know, you can't be jumping around in front of people or whatever. And so, uh, Bellator, the fans in the walking business didn't try to reach out and help me or anything like that. They just, here's your, here's your walking business. They said they tried to really take in touch with them. But they couldn't conveniently get in touch with me or Sam. But uh, the release paper has to come right through. So from the release paper, that was prior to basically around Sunday, right? That was several weeks ago, or when did you receive that? Was the, the release from them? Yeah. This was back um, probably April, April, May. So then when there's this contract dispute about you signing with the UFC for 152, Several months later, were you perplexed by the situation, or what was that like? Yeah, it, it, it came out of the woodwork of it. It was uh, really shocking to me, and uh, I didn't understand why they were doing it. I was just trying to get a hold of the right, so that's why you didn't mind just kicking up the floor when you thought something was wrong, you know, but <clears throat> I was pretty offended by it. So was there ever at any time after the... EKG again where you were proven fine, was there ever a point where they tried to make an offer towards you to return to the company? No. All I got was walking business. Okay, so from that bad situation now to looking towards the light at the end of the tunnel of the UFC, it's been a, about 10 months since we've seen you compete, 11 months. 
what's going to be the difference between Roger Hollett then and Roger Hollett now? Well, I still kept training because I knew I knew it was just a bad reunion. So one of my other teammates had to go through the same thing. The echo card was being proved. That's what I thought. There's nothing wrong. I mean, I was a little worried at first with the doctor's office. I thought I was a little bit. wasn't sure, but I still trained and, and uh, looked at the results from that. I was like, you know, let's get cracking. Let's see what we can do. And I got the manager to get such a PFC and you know, keep going. Don't wait anymore. Okay. And then I know that you're training at the Jackson's Winkle John Gym. How long have you been down here for training? Um, this will be week six now. Week six. And is this your first time with the camp, or you've had other interactions with them prior? No, I've been coming down here for two years now. Okay, I wanted to make sure about that. So from you, we also know about your father, the great kickboxing and boxing skills. So, how old were you before you got in combat sports? Uh, I didn't start MMA professionally until I was 26. But I've been, like my old man Ray was pretty much in the boxing gym. We always uh, had the gloves on, the bags, running a little bit. As far back as I can remember. So, coming from that striking background, what intrigued you about MMA? Um, well, all my friends were doing jiu jitsu at the time. And I couldn't be a boxing guy around, so I was like, oh, I'm going to try these guys right around that stuff. And I remember I got passed out numerous times and loved it ever since. So it was love at first, Al? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. And then again, back to UFC 152, the events in Canada, does that, you know, serve any special uh, place in your heart because you're going to go back to your home country? Yeah, absolutely. First UFC fight in my own country and in the city. Couldn't be better for me right now. And then with that, you're going to be on the main card also. How does that feel? Uh, it doesn't matter to me right now where I am on the card. I'm just glad to be on the card. Right. So can we get some thoughts on what you expect from Matt Hamill, what you expect from the fight? Uh, I hope he's standing in training with me. It'll be a good thing for me. He does have a grain of chin, though, so we'll you know, see what happens. Right. And what part of his game, if any of it at all, are you most aware of? Not really fearing, but aware of. Well, he's obviously a very good wrestler. So I've been uh, working lots of wrestling there, of course, and so I'm, I'm definitely prepared for him. Okay. And then uh, coming from Canada all the way down to Albuquerque, New Mexico, What's the difference in your diet? Does that change when you're down here from up there? Well, yeah, when you train or fight, your diet's different. I mean, I don't usually eat bad anyway. But uh, it's, a, it's a little more clean in training for a fight. Okay. And then have you been able to adjust to the cuisine out here in New Mexico? There's a lot more chili. There's the Mexican food. Have you had the chance to enjoy it or strictly you've been told to stay away oh, from it? Yes. <laughs> definitely over the so do we have any Sopapilla kind of addiction going yet? Uh, yes, but I've, I've had the pleasure. <laughs> okay. Well, wanted to give you a chance to shout out to your training partners, your sponsors, anyone. It's your time now. Yeah, I want to thank all my team uh, here at Jackson's MMA. My, my team only helped me prepare before I come. Titans MMA, uh, <clears throat> my sponsors, Wilson Titanium, Build 360, uh, CDL. Got to thank them. Got to thank you for being on. And actually, I did have one last question real quick. Where did the nickname The Hulk come from? That was given to me uh, when I had uh, my first fight in Edmonton. Uh, I didn't have a nickname at the time, and they're like, oh, it's going to be a sister. And there's a few other nicknames, and I thought The Hulk stood up the most, you know. It kind of rhymes with your name. That's where the nickname kind of comes from. I thought The Hulk said. Oh, okay. Just wondered about that when I looked at it. I was like, oh, I wonder if there's a story there. Well, again, like I said, thanks. Can't wait to see your UFC debut. UFC 152, September 22nd. It is in Toronto, Canada. Everyone should buy the pay-per-view and tune in. See Roger Hollett make his debut against Matt Hamill. Thanks for the time, Roger.